Hi everybody, welcome to Seam Heads. I'm Kevin Cooney, the Phillies beat writer for Calkins Media, along with Pat Berkeley, our Phillsville blogger, as we're kind of taking a pulse of what the Phillies are here at the quarter pole, about 40 games into the 2013 season. The Phillies 18 and 21 after 39, and Pat, they really got through a West Coast trip that could have spelled disaster when you looked at it. You know, no Roy Halladay, obviously, before they left Philadelphia. Get through, get San Francisco and Arizona, two potential playoff teams four and three. Right, I mean sort of obscured by the shadow of the holiday news is the fact that they went four and three on a West Coast trip which is good under any circumstances but to look at those seven games they probably played their best baseball over a seven game stretch of the season so far. They were in every game, the games they didn't win they were in the games. I guess the uh, the downside though is that the four game series in Arizona which is traditionally a hitter's park they only scored 10 runs which sort of underscores the problem of this team is that the they just don't have they don't have enough offense it's certainly not consistent enough and the outfield is is just dismal I think it's like a mm -hmm. 628 OPS nine home runs six of which belong to Don Brown so that's got to get better and all those rankings near the bottom of any right. statistical category within outfielders in Major League Baseball and they're entering a stretch right now. I think that's pretty important here. They, until June 20th, really, they're going to play about 36, 37 games this next quarter, if you will, of the right. season. Well, you know, you have uh, two, three, uh, three city road trips, which are always kind of bears for teams on the schedule. When you have two of them, like they have coming right. up, that's big. They got four games against the Red Sox. Right. It was part of you know one of those trips. That, you know the back to back, and the Red Sox are better, than I think, than anybody thought. Sure. Get their first crack at the Nationals for six games here. I mean, and they're in the race. They're four games back as we tape this on, on Monday. How are they still in this race? Well, they picked up a game over the last week on, on the West Coast trip. I think they're in this race because if you look at uh, the uh, composite OPSs for teams in the league, Washington is actually lower than the Phillies. You know, Atlanta got off to that hot start where they won 10 in a row. They've sort of come back through the pack a bit. They have a lot of strikeouts in that lineup. So it's, those are still hanging in there, you know, sort of um, despite their own efforts, I guess, at this point. And if you look at it now, I mean, there's the injury concerns. Obviously, the fifth starter with Halliday, right. or, you know, having to find another starter with Halliday right. down for the foreseeable future. I'm not sure we can, but either one of us think that they'll get him back in any meaningful way right. this year. Um, Mike Adams now with back spasms, right. and this is obviously but a concern with him about how fragile he was coming off the TOS surgery. Um, they're at a point right now, I think their season kind of rides in this next month. If they're not competitive in this next month, then Ruben, I think, is going to have to be look really long and hard about breaking this team up at the trade deadline. This sets up the trade deadline stuff. Would you agree? Right, it does in a way. I mean, you typically you know you break the, the the season up. You know, 50 games to figure out what it is you need. 50 games to get what it is you need, and then you go from there. The final 50 games to 162, but. They're in a unique situation that even though they're not playing well, they're still sort of in the race, but at the same time, at what point, like you're saying right. with this next road trip, do you determine, all right, well, we're going to have to cut bait and start thinking about selling some guys off. So you're right, this is a very important stretch, and it's it's kind of the, the holiday thing doesn't even factor into no. because they're not losing much by losing him anyway. No, so. with an 8.62 ERA, right. mean, a lot of guys would have been like that. But, yeah, you're right. I, I think that you look at – Utley's obviously a guy you got to look at. Rollins, sure. Uh, Carlos Ruiz, who has been disappointing since he's come back. Right. Obviously, having trouble hitting at this point. You know, and, and Jonathan Papelbon. When you start, you know, breaking out guys who right. could get dealt at the trade deadline, I think that's going to be a, a big conversation. But that's a conversation we'll have a little bit down the road. We got so. time yet? We got time yet. <laughs> Thanks for joining us here on Seam Heads. I'm Kevin Cooney for Pat Berkeley. We'll see you later.